Since 2015, when Rwanda's constitution was amended, laws passed by the Senate and Parliament have significantly reduced and more emphasis has been put on the chamber, fulfilling its fundamental principles and monitoring the country's political parties. Former senators like Dr. Augustine, Iyamuremye and Valence Munyabajisha, who served in the Senate as far back as 2003, have confirmed that voting on so many laws was hindering them from performing their fundamental principles. The laws the Senate now votes on have to do with amending the country's constitution when the need arises, principal international laws on peace treaties, joining international bodies, amending the country's laws, international laws affecting individuals, and laws concerning national security. Senate President Bernard Makuza says the changes have been yielding results. After the constitution was amended, we had to change how we do things, and those changes had to be in line with our fundamental principles. That was therefore done. We also analyze our fundamental principles, each and every one of them, and also look at the expected results and gauge those results. What I can tell you is that those changes will continue to be perfected with time because our priority is those fundamental principles of the Senate which have to do with our core values, political parties and approving leaders, and others we share with the Chamber of Deputies that have to do with examining laws and government oversight. The Senate President also emphasized the importance of such duties. Even in all those committees, if one seeks to perform government oversight, it must be shown how that is linked to our fundamental principles. Let us say it has to do with education, infrastructure like water and electricity, roads or agriculture, to do with irrigation or seeds. We must ask ourselves if all Rwandans have equal opportunities when it comes to education and none is being held back. We must also look into whether or not infrastructure development is evenly distributed countrywide, giving all people a chance to develop. The Senate Chamber now focuses on the fundamental principles stated in Article 10 of the Constitution to do with fighting and punishing the crime of genocide, genocide denial and negation and uprooting genocidal ideologies, divisionism and segregation, while promoting unity, ensuring power sharing, that the law is respected and democracy is upheld, encompassing different political views, promoting gender equality, better social welfare and solving problems through dialogue.